this testing day, ran into some power steering issues and some gearbox issues. Since then we've came home, we fixed the gearbox, we fixed the steering, and uh, now we are headed to Lone Star Drift down at MSR uh, to just kind of triple check ourselves and actually get a focused testing day. As the season and schedules keep changing and everything kind of keeps adapting, uh, we are at the point where we're just trying to make sure we're ready for competitions, which is what I want to get into this season. And before any have really came up, we had an opportunity to go to Lone Star Drift and we will triple check ourselves on power steering, gearbox and the overall car setup. And honestly, this is probably like our first real, real event. At least he knew it was gonna happen. We made a little bit of money in 19 in competitions and we decided to spend that money on a nice awning. And for us, it was an investment into the future, trying to better our program. So it's a bit of a pro approach, but for us, it was much needed. This is a competition. They do Texas Street Legal and they're doing like a Texas Pro-Am. Um, I'm not gonna compete in any of it because I don't think I will be there for the whole season. So for point structured things, I don't really wanna jump into it. I just wanna go testing, take the family for rides and have some fun. I did actually make a spring change on my front shocks. So we had an 8K BC Racing spring that we then changed to a 10K. So that is something that I'm looking forward to testing out. There is two track options. One of them is a little bit more technical and tight. And one of them, it feels a bit more like a Pro-Am slash Pro-2 setup. So for us, I ended up starting out on what we call like the technical track, just to literally have slower chassis speeds and a lot more driver input so I could feel out the power steering and make sure I was ready for a fast track. So with that being said, there was a huge line as soon as I go out. <laughs> for me, it was really cool because I was anxious, excited, which reminds me of pro racing. So I enjoy kind of the tougher situations. I'm sitting in the heat. First run, I kind of take it pretty easy. I felt a bit wobbly, right? Like I definitely uh, needed some car setup and needed to kind of trust myself again, which I feel like I walked my way into pretty quickly. It didn't take me long to get comfortable again. For me, as a driver, this was a pretty 
lead run situation where I just wanted to focus. Pretty much every time we'd change a tire, we were changing something on the car, so I always had something to focus on. I kind of kept setting the car up pretty tight, but you kind of need that, right? We're trying to put the car on the edge with just enough grip and speed so they get difficult to drive. definitely preferred the uh, big track. That track for me really reminded me a lot of a main competition type track. Uh, you'd leave the line and you could either kind of pace up one, two, three, four, and then you enter in. Little handbrake to get you out and it was fast and, and from there we flipped back to a nice decel section right back on throttle for that outer sweeper and then uh, zoom up to the wall and enjoy it. Yeah, that track for sure felt a lot like competition drifting just because you had to wait in the line, you got told to go, you take your 30 second run and you're done. Blending both worlds, I really enjoyed the technical track but I quickly realized my focus should be on the big track. Um, so that's where we put it. small track was one thing when we jumped into the faster pro 2 track if you will um, one of the things that were important for us was a gear change that's where basically I was able to toss in DP's gear oil do a quick swap add some wheel speed and get back into driving so sitting here basically in the beginning of June uh, we would have already done X amount of competitions, X amount of demos, so this season is definitely a coin toss as to what's next. Um, but for us, we're just in that early season stage where we are uh, just kind of getting used to the car, getting used to the new motor package, really trying to rebuild all of our base settings and set me back up for competition drifting. This felt like a long time since we've had the whole family together, and I think that that's what made it special. I think everyone was a little stir crazy in the house after quarantine, so we had the whole gang out. And now I have a niece, her name is Harper. Harper has never been around drifting or the car or anything like that before. Just kind of probably be in like, in a wondering world of what even it is. So for us, it was a pretty cool moment. There is a lot of kind of behind the scenes going on with us in the car and for us as a team, it's more of the repetition behind it just so we can start at a base, work towards some grip, work towards some butter and just kind of enjoy the process and know which way to go in any situation we run into, headed to a real competition. I'm really trying to be focused, right, on how the car feels and how the car's moving and my lines. And I'm really trying to act like I'm in competition and how consistent can I be. Tossing in friends and family, it was like super easy. I got to focus and test the car. And two, I got to give pretty much all of my people ride-alongs, which was really special. It's always really fun to kind of share our hard work and efforts. It was a, a good time. <laughs> Aaron, thank you. Lone Star Drift, that was super fun. Great testing day. I feel super confident now.
So the game plan from here, um, obviously we're in the shop, which welcome to our new shop. Soon we'll do a little tour and kind of give you guys some real insight onto what's going on in the background. But for now, welcome. Um, but car's here. We're gonna do an oil change. We're gonna do a clutch swap. And then we're gonna be heading to Florida for clutch kickers and just try to get in that competition environment. Um, it's a good people out there, a lot of drivers out there. So I'm looking forward to just kind of mixing up with the competition and uh, just focusing and doing my best.